Hello, welcome to Redmond TV and welcome back to the FIFA Predictor. Um, I haven't been here for the last two weeks, I've been doing a lot of university work. Work. Thanks for the people who've uh, filled in for me, as in Lou and Paul or Chris, can't remember. Oh yeah, it was Paul with his um, FIFA slash Pro Evo snide video that he done. Fair play. Um, so this will be the team that I'm going to go with. There'll be storage up top because he has to start, considering the, the cameo that he had against Southampton the other week, uh, the other day, sorry. Uh, Coutinho on the left for me and on the right. Lalan has to start as well. Th those two are so important for us to start. If we're to get maximum points out of these last two games, away to West Ham on the weekend, and then the following week we've got Middlesbrough on the final day of the season. If we're to get those six points, we've got Champions League football. We need to start storage and Lalana because in the last say few uh, three four weeks i don't think origi's done enough for me i think storage frightens defenders because people know what he can do on the ball and, and know how good of a finisher he is lalana as well with his work rate it, it's just it shows that it that the the team this team needs a player like lalana he's 29 years old now it's recently just his birthday so we're only going to get a few more years out of him um, but he's, vital, he's so vital to the team at the minute. Partners with Shannon Wijnaldum in, in the centre. Uh, for me, I don't want to like Katina on the left. Milner uh, stays left back. Lovren, Matip centre back. Uh, Klein right back. And Mignolet in goal. As you can see, I've got a haircut. So for everyone calling me Paul McCartney in the comments section because I had slightly longer hair than I do now, you can stop now. Please. Six points from the last two games. Clever That's player. it. That's all Anywhere. we need to do. And we've got Champions League football back at Anfield. Well, qualifying stages at, at least. See, what I noticed against Southampton was a problem in the centre midfield. It seems that, like, teams... Are, oh, shit. Teams are... Fuck me. A little bit of a kick clash should have wore the black kid. Centre midfield problem at the minute because it seems that teams are just giving Lucas Leiva time on the ball when, he, when he's there at the back in the absence of Henderson. It's so much time on the ball and he just couldn't do anything with it. Like... Since Steven Gerrard left the team, we haven't really had that, that maestro, that fucking regista type of player to fill in that, 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 that hole in midfield. I mean, Henderson's done a very good job. He's like one of the best passers in the league. He's, he's, he's top of the charts in like most of the midfield categories. Sturridge. I'll come back to Sturridge in a minute. I'm talking about the centre midfield. That was a fucking good goal as well. Ball of an header. When's the last time Stur Sturridge scored an header for Liverpool? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess off the top of my head. I think it was Southampton on the 15-16 the season at home, the 2-1 win. I think that was the last time he scored an header. Could be wrong. I don't know. You let me know in the comments though, won't you? Definitely. Um, come back to the centre midfield problem though. Um, we need someone... As I was saying, like Steven Gerrard and stuff like that, we, we haven't missed, we've missed him so much. And a player like him, we, we haven't really replaced. It's the same with Alonso and Mascherano. When we've had someone as good as them in the midfield, we've never replaced them. Um, Henderson's done a good job. But with Lucas as well, he had, he had so much time on the ball. I know he's not expected to be that type of player. He's not. He, he, was, he was like one of the best defensive midfielders about five years ago in the league before he got that knee injury at Chelsea. Who would you buy? In the summer, realistic targets, a centre midfielder. I asked this question a few weeks ago about any player, like striker, left back, centre back, goalkeeper, whatever. But this one's solely just for centre midfielders now. I want to know who do you think realistically, within our price range, type of. Well, I say within our price range. I think this summer we're going to break our transfer records. We have to. Like, hold on a minute. Ah. We have to break our transfer record, and I think we will. I think we will break that £35 million record and we will go and buy someone for £40 mil. Whether that'll be maybe Van Dijk for £50 mil, or whether that'll be someone else that we've never even heard of. Maybe we pull a Martial or someone out the bag and we just buy someone mad for £50 mil. Probably won't happen, but you never know. Coming back to Sturridge then, as I said, after he scored that goal for us just then. What do you think his future is going to be with Liverpool? It, say if he comes into this, into this game, and oh, say if he comes into the game and he scores a goal or two, and then he goes into he goes into form in the last game. Say say in the next two games he scores like three four goals, puts us into the Champions League. Do you think that strengthens Sturridge's position in the squad? Do you think Klopp will, st will still want him, still want him around? You got to think about Sturridge is one of the highest earners at the club as well, and he doesn't play more than 20, 30 odd games a season 
someone who's a highest paid player, you want them to be a consistent player, you want them to be playing constantly as well. Not just playing good, you want them to be playing constantly and Sturridge doesn't doesn't do that for us anymore. It's, it's devastating because he peaked in the 13-14 season under Rodgers with with Suarez a partner in, in the strike. And now people will say like, oh yeah, Suarez that season, unbelievable. Yes, he was fucking unbelievable. But that doesn't change the fact that Sturridge chipped a goalkeeper against West Brom. He, he scored another 25 odd goals that season. Su Suarez in the system in every in every goal. You know, he, he, Sturridge can be world class if he's fit and if he's on the ball. Ooh. But what, what do you think about Sturridge? Do you think he's going to stay here? Do you think you know what's going to happen with him? He's about 20. I think he's about 27 now. Personally, I'll be sad to see him leave, but. Will he be? Will he be? Will he settle for a place on the bench? Does Klopp want him? You know, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know. I'd like to know what you think about the, the future of Sturridge. With the team we're playing here, well, the team that I've picked here, barring any any injuries, God, hope we don't have any injuries um, between now and Sunday. I'll be very surprised if Klopp doesn't pick this squad. Climb right back, Lovren and um, Matip in the centre back, Milner left back. Uh, Lallana has to start, as I said, and Sturridge as well. I'll be very surprised that if Lallana doesn't start, uh, that will shock me, because he has to start. He played the majority of the game against Watford, and he didn't start against Southampton either, so he has to start against West Ham, yeah. The next two games he has to start as well. With Sturridge, for me personally, he has to start, but maybe Origi will keep his place, but who knows? No one knows, apart from Klopp and his backroom staff. Brought on Trent Gruwich and Moreno. Like I like Moreno on FIFA. He's really, really quick. But can he do anything else? He can assist. He can assist the goal. He can cross the ball in, and he can assist like he did against Crystal Palace early in the season away. Crossed the ball in for Emery Chan in that game. And I was just crossing for James Milner, who I pushed up into the centre midfield. And that's why Milner should be in the midfield as well, because he's a fucking midfielder. I just want to hear that Champions League music back at Anfield. We, we desperately need that European football. It's not even just for the financial reasons, it's for the fans. For, for people like me and you that just want to see Liverpool in them European nights. Like Dortmund. Dortmund last year in the Europa League. That's an example of what we can do. But thinking of silver linings, if we don't get Champions League football. Oh my god! <laughs> Lovren. Lovren saw, scored in scissor kicks. Well, we see it again how close it was to maybe hitting the post and staying out. But luck was with him. That's ridiculous. Well, it's not It's kind of like he's fallen, kicking it. Like, a that, that's a centre back scissor kick if there ever was one. He hasn't, like, fucking. The canny owed it into the corner or anything. He's like fallen on his ass and kicked it. It's a proper centre back goal. But anyway, um, Silver Linings, if we don't get Champions League football, at least we've got Europa League. But nah, we want Champions League and that's what we're aiming for. Um, full time, 3 0. Thank you for watching for the, uh, this week's FIFA Predictor. Um, final episode of the season coming up next week with Middlesbrough. And um, if you like what you see, uh, give this video a big thumbs up please, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, thanks for watching again and ta -da.